Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome to my channel. So today, as you can tell from the title, we are going to be testing out the Polite Society Foundation. Um, this is the one that is more than a pretty face and it's supposed to be a skin caring foundation as well. I do have mine in the shade Tan Neutral. This is what the packaging looks like here. So we are going to be trying this out on camera today. I did go ahead and prime my skin. I am excited to try this out, first impressions. So this is what it looks like here. The shade, it looks like it could be a little bit dark. So we'll see how it transpires on my face and see if I can make it work. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this. It is really cute packaging. It looks like an egg. So I really like the packaging though. And then I'm sitting here trying to just like twist it off and everything, but you just pull it off. It does have a pump. So I'm just going to apply two pumps on the back of my hand and see what it does here. Okay. So this is the color here. It actually looks like it's going to match me. It is kind of a liquidy formula. So I just did go ahead and apply two pumps on the back of my hand and we're gonna see what happens. All right, so on my left side, I'm just going to dot it on my face and I'm going to use a brush. And then on my right side, I'm just gonna blend it in with a sponge and see if it's like full coverage on both ends. Okay, so it does look a little dark. We will make it work. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend. This is currently Sunday, but I hope everybody is doing well. It looks like a lot, doesn't it? Okay, so I'm just gonna take my e.l.f. blending brush and I'm just gonna blend in the foundation and see how it does. Okay, looks like the shade is gonna work. Well, being that we're still in summer, so I still have my tan. So it's gonna work right now, but I will definitely probably have to go a shade down. But so far, so good. Okay, so I can definitely say it has medium to buildable coverage. So I can see that in here. Okay, again, I did prime my face and everything. So it does seem kind of liquidy, as I said. Um, I still have plenty of product on the back of my hand too. So that's how much I have left. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it on this side and see if I can cover up some of my blemishes here and see, we'll see exactly how full the coverage is here. Cause I have some acne scarring and a little bit of acne peeking through. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and apply it on the other side. I really like the formula, it's very smooth. All right, so I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge and I'm just gonna blend it in. See if it gives me the same coverage as the brush did. So I would say it's still medium to buildable coverage, but I must say that the brush, I feel, gives more coverage than the sponge. But that's okay. And I think it's pretty neat that it is a skin caring foundation. So this is supposed to treat your skin, cover it, correct it, and it's very weightless, as it says. It does say it is weightless. So yes, it is very weightless for sure. Very light. I would say definitely with a brush, more than a sponge. So I think I'm just gonna go over it a little bit more with a brush and see if it covers up more. Just a little bit, just like a few places here. Yeah. Definitely a brush, guys, definitely a brush. 
All right, now that my foundation is on, I am going to go ahead and apply my concealer. And after I set my concealer, then I'll be back and we will try the setting powder. All right, so now that the concealer is set, we're gonna go in with the translucent powder. Um, so this is the shade of it here. So I'm just gonna tap off the excess. Okay, so I do see it blurring out my under eyes. So that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and do the next eye. I don't know if you can tell the difference of that, this eye to this one, where this one is more luminous. Okay, so yeah, it did blur it. So the claim is good on that. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the face. Um, as you can see, my face is luminous here, it's shiny. So we're gonna go ahead and set the face and see just how blurring it is on the whole face. And then I'm just taking me a little powder puff here, tapping off the excess on the back of my hand and just applying this to my face. hairs everywhere okay so I don't know if you can tell this but I can certainly tell the difference from this side to this side you see that so this side to this side very very blurring for real I like this powder I like it very very nice all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and set the remainder of my face I love doing, you know, foundation reviews. I love doing the transformation. I just, I just love it. I love seeing the transformation. Yeah, I say this is a go. Definitely. I love it. This is probably going to be one of my new favorite powders. I'll be using this for sure. All right, so there's that. And then I did also get the little mascara. They did send me a miniature mascara as a gift for purchasing the foundation and the translucent powder. Um, so I do have a sample. This is what it looks like right here. And this is the little mascara sample here. So I will be trying this on. So I figured it'd be perfect before I put on my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this now. And this wand, I like the wand. The wand actually reminds me of Essence, like the Lash Princess wand in a way. Kind of reminds me of that. So let's see how lengthening this is. Very, very nice. You guys see that? Okay, this is a very nice mascara. I like this. Yeah, very similar to the Essence one, the Lash, the Lash Princess. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the next eye. All right, so the mascara is on. I really like it. It is very lengthening. It's black, it has volume and I really like it. I'm going to purchase the full size here soon. Um, so I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face and then I'll be back with my final thoughts. All right, guys, this is the completed look. I did go ahead and finish my makeup. I am in love with this foundation. I thought it looked dark on camera. It may still look dark on camera, but when I got up and looked into the regular lighting, it looks like it fits perfectly. Although I can still probably go down a shade because it is a little bit a little bit dark, but it's it's a beautiful foundation. It's skin caring, so I can't wait to see like using it in the future. 
exactly what it does to the skin. So I like that, that it's, you know, cares for your skin all in one. And then the translucent powder, that's perfect. Like it blended it like a dream. Like there's no white cast or anything like that at all. It is very blurring. I do recommend getting these two things and the mascara as well. This is gonna be my new favorite. I am going to purchase the full size of the mascara. But yeah, I do recommend you guys purchasing these products. It is definitely worth your money. So that is it guys. Um, if you have not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Stay blessed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.